allow Newcastle fans to be. I can't believe that. Like, being beaten off Fulham, first game of the season. Lady looks not in my favour, has it? Exactly. Jamal Asselz, Carl Darlow, and you're watching Newcastle Fans TV. Newcastle Fans TV, so we've just arrived in Manchester. Start the vlog, I'm absolutely knackered. Me and the little one can see, but I'm going to touch your eyes. Check the little one, just ah. Yeah, absolutely knackered, we're about to fly, we'll see you at the other end. I've arrived in New York and I'm really, really tired. 14 hour shift, 14 hour journey shift, I say, that's how tired I am. I'm going to get in a taxi now and head to Manhattan. So, this is my hotel. Give you a quick little detour. It's very small, but it's got free aircon, which you can't really complain. Nice iron in there, a normal box standard cupboard with a safe. Uh, we've tidied up a little bit, we've been, this, we've been in the night, so uh, that's Ella's side of the room. Got loads of like coffee makers and everything over there. And this is my side, just charging the laptop up because I'm going to see if I can get some Wi-Fi somewhere today for lunch. The view outside is pretty basic. It's literally the hotel, but um, just literally outside there, past the um, the balconies and so on, is Times Square. And uh, got a TV. The TV works. There's a lot of American stations on there. Um, the mirror, of course. Hello. And of course, the bathroom where the Ben's getting herself ready. So, pretty basic, hello. Um, so, alright, that's a hotel room. So, we're in the famous building, Grand Terminal Centre behind us. Just got off the metro and we're heading my way up now to 33rd Street to go watch Newcastle play. So, let's begin. Amazing and blocked by Fulham. So unlucky, but at least it's a better chance for the tune. How are you? Orlando Aaron is on. Jack Colback. How Orlando, lad? Do your magic. So Ayose Perez is off after he's had a poor, poor game, really poor. And uh, Adam Armstrong is now on. Hopefully, we'll grab a goal. Got 20 minutes left. How are you, Newcastle? Man? How are you? So uh, Shelby is on. Hayden is off. And I have to say, Hayden's had quite a disappointing debut. Got 13 minutes plus stoppage time to try and find the equalizer here in Midtown Manhattan. Numerous, numerous of penalty decisions from the referee that hasn't given in this match. I can count two or three, and the players is really, really not happy with the referee. That, and I'm being polite here. And the referee, I mean, how is? I mean, you can't blame the referee for not scoring as before stop stoppage time. So Newcastle's own fault that they haven't scored, but the referee is not helping matters one bit. So Newcastle have been beaten 1 0 at Craven Cottage. Fulham fans are through that building, are going absolutely bonkers. Uh, well, I think Newcastle have only got themselves to blame, goal scoring wise. If you can't score, you, you cannot rely on a referee to score a goal. So, yes, we should have had a couple of penalties, that's debatable. That's going to rumble on, that's going to be the talking point. But you can't rely on a referee to, to score. Yes, we should have had penalties, yes, we know that. But questions are going to be asked, questions are going to be asked about Newcastle's going forward, especially to break down a workman like performance. So, start the season 1 0 defeat. I think uh, it's a bit of an eye opener. With, um, I, think the, I think the game was well suited for Mitrovic. 
I mean, we've had a little, I know it's easier said than done. A lot of people are going to blame the referee for that game. But you've got to score your chances. And yes, the referee didn't help matters. It should have been one or two maybe penalties. But Newcastle, uh, especially first half on the right hand side, they need to have a But he has recognised that. But Richie on the right. That kind of solved the problem a little bit, but there's no creativity in centre of the field. So I think that's where more Diarmi will come in, that driving force from centre of the field. On the left, he tried to bring on Aaron Technoff. He didn't do too much. Perez was disappointed when he started coming deep. All of them were very, very tight. But it's an eye opener. I still think we'll win the league. It's just one of those things. I think we'll probably lose six or seven games away from home this season. But it's one of them things, you know. So roll on the next game. Right, so we're out of there. And I'm feeling a little bit tipsy. We're back on the streets of New York. We're just near Wall Street. But, um,. I got beat, you know, but what can you do? It's the first game of the season. I'm not too negative about it. Uh, let's move on to the next game. I hope you like the vlog. It's brief. I um, hope you understand a lot of it. Because I know it's quite noisy in there, but there's a lot of people I met in there who was uh, quite welcoming and welcoming me and, uh, and the little one as well. So it was decent, but let's move on to the, the home game and let's make this with the Gallagher flag say massive massive display of donation united so i've been lee i'm bar for newcastle fans tv say his letter